everyone. Are you considering writing an actuarial exam soon, but you're just not sure which one to write? If so, this video is for you because I'm going to help you decide. So there are actually eight actuarial exams right now that you need to pass in order to become a fellow of the Society of Actuaries. But the exams increase in difficulty as you go, so you'll want to start with one of the easier ones. You can technically take them in any order, but almost everyone starts with either exam P or exam FM because those two tend to be the easiest for most people. So exam P, where P stands for probability, is all about probability uh, statistics and you need to know a lot of calculus for that one. So if those are topics that you've learned already in your courses, then I definitely recommend going with that one first. But on the other hand, if you've done a lot of financial mathematics, which is what FM stands for, um, so time value of money, bonds, and everything like that, then you'd probably be better off going with the exam FM first. So it really doesn't matter. They're both about the same level of difficulty. Personally, I found FM to be the easier one, but some people think P is easier. So it's really a personal preference. If you've taken both, if you've taken courses in both uh, probability and statistics and stuff and also financial mathematics, then you'll probably just want to go with exam FM to get the easier one, the, it'll likely be the easier one, uh, out of the way and then you can move on to the probability exam. So once you've decided which exam you're going to write, you need to know when you can write it. So exam P is actually offered every other month. So it's offered in January, March, May, July, September, November. And FM is the opposite in between. So every two months you can write P and every two months you can write FM but they offset each other. Hopefully that makes sense. And the I wouldn't recommend writing your first exam until you've actually gain knowledge in either probability or financial mathematics. If you haven't taken any courses in stats or probability, financial mathematics, then I don't think that you should go ahead and write your actuarial exams yet. You'll want to wait until you have some of that background knowledge first. Usually that's around second year for most people and actually a lot of people start writing their actuarial exams while they're still in school so that would be perfect timing for you once you get a few of those courses under your belt. Hope this helps. 